Hi guys, Janelle here, owner designer at Love Your Peaches. And guess what? It's fall, which is one of my favorite times uh, for clothing, fashion, because you get to wear sweaters. Hooray! So today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite fabrics, and that is uh, the category of fleeces and terries. Fleeces and terries are actually uh, cousins. They're in the same family of fabric. They're knits, both knits. And in fact, a uh, fleece really is just a terry that has been sheared. So they will make the fabric and go over it, literally like shaving somebody's head with big shears to cut the, uh, the loops on the one side of the fabric or both, depending on which fabric you're making, uh, and to give it fur fuzz, pile is what it's, the technical term is. So for instance, you guys know like a fake fur fabric, the hairs, they're called pile. So you will have in this category, low, medium, and high pile fabrics. Even though you don't normally make sweaters out of terry cloth because it's in the same family of fabric, I'm going to start there because it's one everybody knows, actually, even if they don't realize it. Terry cloth is what most bath towels are made out of and also bath ropes. Here is a terry cloth. Oh, here's one of the problems that you have with terry cloth. It picks up lint like nobody's business. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, and hair, nice. As you can see, it's a double-sided fabric and um, it's got all these loops on each side. So that's a double pile fabric. Next, and this does make wonderful sweaters, one of my favorite fabrics ever. This is French Terry. So this here, this is the right side of the fabric. You can see the lines here, the ridges. Uh, that's the right side, meaning that's the side that usually faces outward on a garment. But on the reverse side, you've got these loops. Now on a jersey knit, these loops would be tight and you wouldn't really be able to see them. But because this is French terry, the loops are a little bit looser, they have a little bit of loft to them, uh, so they're more visible. But they're not so loose that they will catch and snag on things. But because you have that extra uh, yarn length in the back, it makes this fabric super comfortable to wear, very flexible. Um, it also breathes really well. One of the nice things about it is that it doesn't uh, stick to you, right? So it is um, heavier weight than a jersey, and it just makes a really great garment for layering, particularly in the fall and winter. Um, love this one a lot. It's worth noting that uh, French terry, unlike the terry cloth, really doesn't pick up lint, at least not on the right side, and that's the side that's usually facing out. So just FYI. And uh, that goes also for our cotton sweatshirt fleece. It's kind of the same. It is, in fact, really the same fabric. Cotton fleece, there's the right side of it. You see it has similar ridges on the right side. But the back side is soft and fuzzy. This is what most people will commonly call sweatshirt fleece. Um, it is literally the French terry where the loops have been cut and then brushed to give it a, uh, a low pile. Now, the nice thing about cotton fleece is that this fuzziness, besides just feeling good, uh, gives a little bit of loft to the fabric and that actually traps air from your body uh making it work almost like well not almost exactly like insulation in your house it traps air in that layer of fabric and so that makes this a nice cozy warm fabric to wear 
it's a uh, apparel insulation, if you will. Also, again, this is our 100% cotton, 14 ounce fleece, 14 ounce terry. This is a nice substantial weight. It's high quality fabric. It is very difficult to find 100% cotton fleece and terry now. It is almost always uh, at least a poly cotton blend, but you can't beat the cotton. Last but not least, this is polar fleece. Now, um, we used to carry this. As you can see, it's fuzzy on both sides. It has pile, medium pile on both sides. Uh, it is lightweight and warm because of all the pile. It does capture the air. It has good insulating qualities. And uh, if you're living in cooler climate, this is an incredibly popular and comfortable fabric to wear. It is, however, 100% polyester. Um, and so I am no longer stocking this in inventory at Love Your Peaches. We're moving to an all-natural inventory. Um, however, I have no problems. If you want to order up some polar fleece and send it to me, we'll sew it for you. I get it. It's, it's, uh, it has its place. I'm just limiting my inventory to natural fibers now. So, um, but we work with it all the time. And if you do want to order uh, Polar Fleece, I highly recommend a website called yourfleece.com. They have very good quality Polar Fleece in different weights, light, medium, heavy, full weight. Um, it's really the nicest place that I found and lots of colors. A downside to polar fleece is it is very prone to picking up hair, pet hair, and lint. So, you know, nothing's perfect, right? That's it for fleeces and terries today. Um, we have a lot of new styles shown in the cotton fleece on the website now. Uh, we've got jackets and hoodies and shirts, sweaters, etc. So I happen to be wearing the cowl neck hoodie in the black fleece. And this, this is my new favorite thing. This is a full length hoodie. So is it pajamas? Is it a dress? Who knows? And who's to say? You can wear this bad boy to bed and roll out and keep on going 24-7. No one will ever know the difference. And frankly, the world's gone a little nuts these days. This is the vibe that I'm kind of feeling right now. So highly recommend it. <laughs> so oh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe below. And as always, love your peaches, love your cotton fleece and terries, and always, always love yourself. Bye for now.